ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸಹೋದ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಛಾ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ವೈಶ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಬಾಸಿಂಧು ವಿಭಜ ಪತಿತಾನಂ ಪಾವನೇಭ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ವಿಷ್ಣುಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನಂಚೈವನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶೆ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೀಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರನ್ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಚನು ತರಂಜಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತ ಬಾಲುಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನುಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧುಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಂ ಕರುಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿತ್ತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ಕಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದ ಪಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಷಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತೀದ ಸಂಬೀತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ
कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे श्री विष्णु श्रवण परीक्षित अभवद भैया सखी कीर्तने प्रहलाद स्मरणे तदंगी भजने लक्ष्य पृथ्वी अक्रूरस्तु अभिवंदने कपिपति हृदसी अथो साक्षे अर्जुन सर्वस्वात्म निवेदने बलिभुत्कृष्णाप्तिषा परम श्री विष्णु श्रवण परीक्षित अभवद्वैया सखी कीर्तने प्रहलाद स्मरणे तदंगी भजने लक्ष्य पृथ्वीजने अक्रूरस्तु अभिवंदन कपिपति हृदय अथ सख्य अर्जुन सर्वस्वात्म निवेदने बलिभुत्कृष्णाप्तिषापरम गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगद गुरु टोल्ड दैट वॉट एवर इज देयर इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ पीपल दैट काइंड ऑफ अज्ञान इज ऑल द टाइम देयर एज द काइंड ऑफ डार्कनेस एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ डार्कनेस इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमूव दिस इज अर एक्चुअल ड्यूटी द एक्चुअल ड्यूटी ऑफ अ साधु स्पेशली गौरी वैष्णव साधु in this material world so much a gyan is there in uh, the heart of that we just need to remove that kind of darkness from their heart gode goshtipati shri shila bhakti sidhan saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramans jagat guru told in that whatever is there what kind of uh, an uh, mis knowledge is there that kind of darkness we just need to remove that is our actual duty that who are gode vaishnav those who are that is the actual duty of all the gode vaishnav of sadhus if if we are actually going doing negative way and we will be taking just order to get la puja pratishtha slowly steadily and we are just making them fall into more darkness that that is not good that is called actual hinsa that is called jeev hinsa just whatever there that what kind of a gyan is there you just need to remove that and this this is very important to do and if we will be doing negative way then we will not be removing that agyan from them their heart then definitely the people will go more into darkness that is not at all good that is very much difficult very difficult to understand prabhupad ji actually speaking that shriman mahaprabhu ji what is our achar and acharan and whatever the instructions we just need to get pratishtit in that after that what to do we we can just go to for preaching after that uh, it means that we can just uh, uh, give mercy on to on to others before that it is not at all possible whatever is there in this uh, country village every everywhere my name should get preached that is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu in but prabhupad ji actually speaking that whatever the in this uh, material word this kind of uh, material sound is there that title name we are actually speaking all the time prabhupad speaking that this kind of uh, title name this actually this preaching is going on of this material sound that vakunt vichar is not at all preached the vakunt name is not at all preached in this material world it should be preached but they are actually preaching this material sound so this is the actual condition you see that vakunt naam that vakunt naam that uh, uh, the name of bhagwan each and everywhere it should be preached in every corner of the world this is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu that is the actual manobhishta of mahaprabhu that is the actual manobhishta of mahaprabhu. that each and every part of the country each and every corner of the country and village the name of bhagwan should get preached prabhupad ji actually speaking that he is giving us instruction that lot of harikatha we are actually day and night we are discussing harikatha prabhupad speaking that prachur that pro, lot and lots of harikatha we are discussing of that vaikunth katha we should discuss all the time we should discuss vaikunth katha that the actual instruction prabhupad has instructed us and if if and if we if we just need to follow mahaprabhu's instruction har bakat har 
all the time this uh, that kind of flood of harikatha should go on every time every fraction of second lot of time prabhupad used to speak this point that in this material world that there is actually scarcity of harikatha this is feminine of harikatha harikatha scarcity of harikatha in this material world there is actually scarcity of harikatha each and every corner of the mahaprabhu that this kind of bani should get in each and every corner of the world everywhere this instruction get can should be preached if we were not at all preaching it and we'll be uh, showing them the negative direction just for small la pujan pratishta that is uh, strictly prohibited this is not at all good that is strictly prohibited but this kind of prachar actually proper speaking that it is going on all all around the world all around the world this kind of this shabd samanya is going on all the all everywhere in each and every direction this kind of shabd saman is going on that this this is not at all harikatha actual harikatha that this is not a kind of vakunt jagat harikatha that without acharan if actually you are putting something in the someone's heart this kind of gyan will not at all get manifested without acharan if you are actually some, uh, speaking something it will not get manifested inside the heart of them with full tranadapi sunichan bhav and just getting many pratishtit in that acharan and without acharan no, there is no other possible way open that kind of vakunt uh, katha cannot can, uh, can come in this material world because it is coming from the lotus mouth of that pure sadhu that's why all those knowledgeable persons who are actually knowledgeable persons that in this material not of this material world those knowledgeable person i'm not talking but i'm talking about those uh, topmost knowledgeable sadhus that they will be just uh, avoiding all kind of asatsang and they will be just uh, be removing away from far distant that dusang that what brahma ji is speaking with full uh, humble mood you just need to kick asatsang away from their very far distant distance place usijya means very uh, far distant uh, place you just need to uh, throw that away that asatsang it should not be there at the corner that knowledgeable persons actual knowledgeable person they are doing all the time satsang that is called actual satsang they are doing in this uh, present yog what is the actual problem if you someone is asking in this uh, present uh, kali yog what is the topmost problem in this uh, present yog if someone is asking us this question so answer is answer for this question is that the topmost problem in this present yoga is to Uh, to get us uh, to get a satsang in the name of satsang that is the topmost problem this is the topmost problem why because those who are actually they are who can just see past present and future they can know what will happen in the future they have already know that everything about that lot of sukriti after getting lot of sukriti and depositing lot of sukriti from the previous birth If when it is there inside our heart then after that we will we are getting sadhu sang satsang satsang prapate pungi bhovir sukh bhovir sukriti puro sanchide janam janam ka birth after and birth what you are accumulating sukriti birth after birth that birth after birth when you are accumulating that sukriti then uh, in the ne- nearer future you will get satsang definitely and thakur ji is just giving us the uh, option of uh, satsang and gurudev also we are getting just because of krishna only one thing should be there inside our heart what is that just to do seva that there should not be any kind of kapat bhav inside our heart we should be doing service of god uh, krishna without with full nishkapat bhav when other responsibilities of uh, krishna we just need to make sure and that's why all those uh, knowledgeable persons they are actually just giving up a satsang they are just uh, uh, giving away bad association and they are all the time there in satsang why because that this pravachan that uh, vakunt word transcendental vakunt vani they are actually speaking that from their lotus mouth and they are whatever uh, material bondage is there inside the material jiva they are actually cutting that away and throwing that away those who are very big big personalities they are actually thinking that they are actually sadhus 
and uh, they are so called sadhus and uh, whatever the big big persons that those are very much rich and those who are very materially knowledgeable these people they are just running for kanak kamini and pratishtha they are just uh, discovering kanak kamini and pratishtha they are just uh, each and every corner of the world they are running for that they in in these if you will we just be speaking loudly and crying loudly if someone actually is speaking loudly in front of them if someone actually is speaking loudly in front of them and speaking to them still they will not be able to understand and hear that why because they are actually in every corner of the world whatever they will do they can do anything for la puja and pratishtha just to get that la puja position they will do anything for that in order you will be just speaking in front of them no use in because they will not be understanding the point and they will not be hearing that also definitely in reverse they will just give you disrespect to all those sadhus so that is the condition lot of uh, uh, lot of days before i was uh, there is one when while doing vrindavan nam parikrama i just went to mathura one place there and there i thought that uh, it is a, there is a kind of village so definitely i'll do some madukari from here and uh, some place i will just be taking some prasadam it is not at all good i'll be definitely going to do some madukari it will be good so when i just went to do for go for madukari this is my actually this is my this is my actual bhav that if you are actually uh, taking uh, madukari then definitely you will get your bhajan in your life so this is not in my experience that uh, this high society what is the actual situation of them i thought that okay this is braj dham okay that no problem i actually just taking some madukari from that uh, from one to one to building i just go on, went there and uh, whatever actually the answer is coming from there i'm very much uh, strange very i just just got amazed i just thought that definitely this madukari will not happen here because it's brajdam okay we can get some but i don't have know that this kind of high society is there and uh, and uh, in the glass room in the glass house there uh, kind of stone people they full of their heart is full of stone i have just already heard that so whatever very very big rich men they are also like that only they will not be actually listening to all this so definitely in front of them you just just no need to waste time in front of them these people these people just to speak uh, cry loudly about krishna it is actually wastage of time and uh, whatever you will go in the other part of the world where some response you can get there it is actually good to do preaching and just uh, and someone actually going for preaching and if he is uh, he don't have any kind of humble mood himself then preaching is not at all possible for so those dambik people if they are a proper speaking that those dambik people they cannot do pre- preach at all they cannot do preaching at all wo dambik people what they can do kind of preaching dambik means they have la puja pratishtha they just have that smell in them this kind of desire they have so that's why they can't preach dambik means that uh, they don't have any kind of patience inside them that definitely they will not be hear anything else uh, and they will not understand uh, the actual instruction of gurudev they are dambik so by this whatever the means of preaching they are uh, doing this kind of mode of preaching is not at all possible for them those who are ha- persons who are having false ego if we are just getting uh, uh, taking lot of money in the bank and he is just doing preaching like that and so f- much false ego he has inside him if he actually just taking a sanyas vrat and just be decorating himself with sanyas and going out for preaching if he is actually just uh, titled him as i'm a big very big preacher he is pracharak or is pratarak we don't know if uh, he is actually preacher in the name of preaching he is going out to preach and he is having that false ego of that he is a very big preacher then definitely if definitely result negative results will come in that isliye that's why that actual satya isliye that's why proper speaking that actual satya vastu that it is not at all get manifested in in front of everyone not at all possible 
दैट एक्चुअल वास्तव सत्य वस्तु इट विल नॉट एट ऑल गेट मैनिफेस्टेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी वन नो नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल इट हाउ इट वैन दैट एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ विल जस्ट गेट मैनिफेस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम बिकॉज प्रीचिंग मीन्स दैट टू जस्ट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट दैट एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ to just speak about that absolute how he can speak that he it will not get manifested inside his heart that's why this absolute truth it is not in front of those false ego persons those who are not at all guru sevak who are not at all serving gurudev and vaishnav and they are actually against guru vaishnav there are two persons one is guru sevak and one lagu sevak you are not understanding this point what i'm speaking you have are not understanding there are only two things in this life whether he will do guru seva or rather he will do maya seva lagu seva lagu seva means that maya seva guru seva means that uh, devotee seva definitely you just need to do one of them in between there is no other pathway open for you so what is that actual absolute truth those who is getting manifested in who is not at all getting manifested in front of them so what they will do go to the market and do preaching because they will just be speaking all negatively they will be just speaking lie just to collect la puja pratishtha and they will be just enjoy themselves they will do nothing else apart from that propat actually speaking uh, just by them those who are actually taking the role of the preachers by them those who are actually adarsh acharan who are not at all uh, getting pratishtit in that uh, instructions of mahaprabhu they cannot even uh, they will be spreading all amangal in the whole world because so whatever they are actually speaking whatever they are actually not following in their life definitely in his uh, words nothing will happen at all uh, even negative things will happen the shastra ji actually speaking do what they are actually instructing instructing that in their own life they are do are actually instructing others and they are giving updesh to others but uh, whatever updesh they are actually giving but they are actually not at all accepting in their own life that kind of instructions जो हमारा जिंदगी में एक्चुअली नॉट टेस्टेड इन देयर ओन लाइफ दो थिंग्स दो इंस्ट्रक्शन वॉट आई एम एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ पीपल दो विच विच उपदेश इंस्ट्रक्शन आई एम गिविंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ दोज पीपल दो एडवाइज आई एम नॉट एट ऑल फॉलोइंग दो सिद्धांत विच आर इट इज नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग फॉलोड इन माई ओन लाइफ आई एम नॉट एट ऑल फॉलोइंग इन माई लाइफ देन वी शुड नॉट स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ अदर्स वाई वाई वी हैव स्पोकन दैट बिकॉज दिस इज द एक्चुअल कंडीशन नाउ वट इज गोइंग ऑन दिस इज द एक्चुअल सिचुएशन नाउ वट इज विच इज गोइंग ऑन दिस इज एक्चुअली गोइंग ऑन आई लाइक दिस दे आर जस्ट स्पीकिंग दे आर जस्ट लाइक ओरेटर ओरेटरशिप दे आर डूइंग दे आर जस्ट डूइंग ओरेटरशिप दैट सेट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम नथिंग दे आर डूइंग नो रियलाइजेशन इज देयर एंड द and the other uh, normal person and so actually less interested in the up uh, transcendental uh, wish because that's why they are getting cheated because they don't want that transcendental they don't have that feeling they don't have any demand to get that transcendental uh, knowledge but okay whatever is going on what to do it should happen what to do propad actually speaking these people by these people those who are actually other shachran they are not at all taking instructions of mahaprabhu who was actually just going uh, opposite to mahaprabhu they are not at all they are actually doing negatively and going negative direction definitely this whole material will not at all get all the four direction that amangal will go it will spread in all the four directions that shri mahaprabhu ji has just instructed us tranada pe sunich we should be tranada pe sunich with manat all the time you just need to do hari kirtan with top most humble mood you should do this mahaprabhu has instructed us and this is the actual instruction of mahaprabhu to us because uh, when you are uh, not at all pratishtit in tranadapi bhav when you are not at all this uh, pratishtit in this tranadapi sunich bhav definitely this hari kirtan you will not be able to do this is not at all possible this kind of uh, thing nothing no one is actually careful about that what actually this upadesh prabhu is speaking nobody actually careful about these upadesh that tarnada pi sunich this kind of bhav when you are not at all getting pratishtit in then it is not possible to hear hari katha for them that hari kirtan not at all possible like that only 
that whatever the other instructions from other they are just taking just by uh, just uh, leaving your life like that on the other instructions that whatever instruction he will be just uh, discussing about the others this kind of actually they are wasting their time in that then nothing will happen at all how we will get that actual mangal in our life by this there is one final anubhuti should be there in that because there are different kind of anubhuti will come in front of us that uh, i will get uh, uh, gain in this i will be getting advantage in this but what is the final how we can get that absolute mangal in our life that is the main question this kind of vichar should definitely come inside our heart this is okay paracharcha definitely we will not be getting those who are doing any any kind of paracharcha they will not at all get any gati in their life they will not get their mangal in their life but when guru vaishnav guru vaishnav but when guru vaishnav they will be doing kipa on others and they are just speaking about others and they are actually just uh, putting them under sasan under strict rules and regulations and they are just speaking very uh, crude truth in front of them that is not paracharcha this is this is not coming in the category of paracharcha prabhupad actually is not at all speaking so much strict uh, siddhant vichar in front of us that about uh, by the prabhav of maya he is actually all the time just getting pain by maya prabhupad actually used to speak very hard in front of him but it doesn't mean that by this kind this is actually paracharcha guru ji also are bound to speak like this so that they can just protect us from this material maya that's why they are speaking like this this is not at all paracharcha just uh, who will you will be actually talking about what others you will talk if you have that kind of realization this point that i am actually most uh, uh, fallen fallen soul in this whole material world i am the most fallen person in this whole material world this kind of realization if is coming then what we will speak about others we we will not be having this kind of audacity to speak about others we are actually according to our own we are actually according to our own sense gratification we are actually busy in that we are actually all busy in that sense gratification whatever our hari bhajan is there this which is very important for us we are not at all busy in doing our own hari bhajan we are actually not performing our own duty and we are actually just getting entangled in other uh, activities we are busy in that how we can just what how we can get uh, hari kirtan inside our heart that hari katha hari kirtan how it can get inside our heart shri guru nitanand under the anugatya of shri nitanand that is very much important to hear uh, hari katha and uh, guru dev actually is the main preacher that whatever adarsh achar acharan what everything is there of him De- definitely this is pre- this kind of preaching should be going on in this kaliyog in the name of kaliyog that the actual yoga dharma is naam sankirtan of kaliyog and without krishna shakti this is not at all possible Shila Rupa Goswami, Pat Shila Sanatan Goswami, Shad Goswami, everyone actually instructing us. They are actually our Guru Dev, and under their guidance only we just need to do our bhajan. That to do the guidance of uh, under the guidance of Shila Rupa Goswami, Pat bhajan is not at all possible. Bukhari bhajan is not at all possible. Shila Rupa Abhin, which is not different from Shila Rupa Goswami, our Guru Pat Padma, just to just take the lo- dust of the lotus particle of their uh, uh, of these sadhus. This is the actual property of ours. this is actual yeah, hidden treasure for us if we are actually understanding this point then definitely in uh, future definitely we'll get mangal in our life otherwise it is not at all possible it is impossible next to impossible to get that mangal yesterday from a lot of days before i was i was discussing about the prabhupad that serious discussion of what prabhupad speaking that very serious discussion i was discussing about prabhupad that what what is the actual in depth discussion of shri upadesh amrit this is actually very amazing to hear this but up till this point who will uh, go up till this extent who will come that is the actual question who will come to this extent because prabhupad ji actually speaking about shri larup goswami that 11 shloka that 11 shloka of upadesh amrit prabhupad speaking in that the bear actually there is actually at the corner of radha kund 
देर दैट जस्ट बाय टेकिंग द कृपा ऑफ राधेनी राधा रानी दैट इज अ टॉप मोस्ट सगाई द टॉप मोस्ट बेनिफिट इन आवर लाइफ एंड हु इज एक्चुअली टेकिंग बाथ इन राधा कुंड प्रभुपाद जी एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग गिविंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ विचार इन फ्रंट ऑफ अर्स दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ सैक ऑफ ब्लड एंड ब्लड ब्लड स्टूल एंड यूरिन दिस काइंड ऑफ सैक ऑफ स्टूल एंड यूरिन दिस कैन नॉट वॉट एवर देर इज एक्चुअली ऑल स्वेट इज देयर एंड सो मच बैड एंड फिलती स्मेल कमिंग फ्रॉम आर बॉडी दिस काइंड ऑफ बॉडी ऑफ ब्लड एंड फ्लैश सैक ऑफ ब्लड एंड फ्लैश दिस कैन नॉट टेक बाथ इन राधा कुंड एट ऑल this body you will be taking how you can just take in bath in radha kund how it is possible to take before that you just need to think that radha rani and shrimati radha rani and and radha kund is not different from each other and if we are actually understanding this how we can just take bath in that with this filthy and dirty body but the external persons all they are actually taking bath in that and prabhupad ji actually this kind of other she is not at all showing to us Prabhupada ji is not at all showing this kind of other to us. Radha Kund to just take bath in Radha Kund that is the topmost. To take bath in Radha Kund such, such a big thing it is. That if someone actually is understanding this, then definitely he this kind of filthy and dirty body he will not be taking in Radha Kund. We yesterday I was discussing. this is just equal to dump as who is that person is equal to dump as who is he is taking his five elements uh, made of five elements his material body he is actually making so much false ego on that and having that false ego as in that i have this body this kind of ego he has that i am object uh, taking birth in this family and this is my actually title this kind of false ego he is uh, this is the who is actually just uh, maintaining his life and he is just uh, wishing to just maintain his life like that then for those people this kind of rupa nu raga ma bhajan is not at all possible to do it is very far thing for them this is not a normal thing to follow prabhupad actually used to speak this kind of uh, vichar in front of us and uh, this material body i'll be just taking bath in radha kund I have just taken bath in uh, Radha Kund. I have just jumped in Radha Kund, taking bath there. You are thinking like this, just by taking a sack of this blood, stool, and urine, and this very filthy, dirty body. This actually, I'll be that other. I am actually a husband of uh, my wife, and I am a sannyasi. I am Brahman. I am Khatriye. I am Vaishya. I am Sudra. This kind of false ego, even even up till this point. where this kind of vichar is coming that i am also this uh, woman and i am male so this kind of vichar also come in. then definitely you don't have any kind of adhikar to take bath in radha kund because mahaprabhu has told instructed us this vichar is a top most vichar परमानेंट विचार दिस विचार शुड बी देयर दैट आई एम भूत शुद्धि देर इज वन प्रोसेस वॉट डू यू मीन बाई भूत शुद्धि नो नो सम पर्सन आर नॉट अट लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दैट वॉट इज भूत शुद्धि इज जस्ट टू दिस मटीरियल बॉडी यू जस्ट नीड टू क्लीन दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली बाई जस्ट गेटिंग भूत शुद्धि डेफिनेटली इट इज गेटिंग प्योर जस्ट बाई टेकिंग टेन टाइम्स बाथ इन अ डे इट इज नॉट अट ऑल प्योर भूत शुद्धि मीन्स that inside my heart that kind of realization should come that all these five elements of this i am not this five uh, material body made of five elements so actual purity is actual topmost purity is that this kind of realization coming and that i am not this uh, body material body made of five elements my body is nothing else nothing is there my my atma is nitya and i am nitya das of krishna this kind of realization should come that is called bhuta shuddhi otherwise definitely no we are just speaking mantra pavitra pavitra like this bhuta shuddhi is not possible like that 
you can just speak this mantra like that but the top most bhut shuddhi mahaprabhu has just told in naam prabhu that you just need to do naam sankirtan that is the top most bhut shuddhi that is the top most bhut shuddhi your top most pure purification process where this kind of vichar coming that i am this male i am this female i am this kind of vichar coming they don't have any kind of adhikar eligibility to bath in radha kund up till this point also even on the opulent bhav that ashwarya bhav also we are having inside our heart and slowly slowly by doing bhajan i have that ashwarya bhav inside my heart that slowly slowly by doing bhajan i have just got very forward in the bhajan but inside my heart that kind of ashwarya bhav that is sharya vichar is not at all going away and this kind of ashwarya bhav is there still inside my heart if it is not at all getting removed from our heart then definitely he don't also have the eligibility to take bath in radha kund sometimes uh, he is doing some bhajan of narayan someone actually is doing some bhajan of narayan and he is doing uh, bhajan of vishnu bhagwan and slowly steadily uh, by doing bhajan he will be just uh, getting into a place in vaikunth definitely but but having that ashwarya bhav he has but those who are actually getting all kind of different mukti they are actually taking they are actually having that desire for mukti definitely they they cannot uh, they should not at all go to radha kund definitely they should not at all go to radha kund because radha kund in like this you can't go like that because up till this point prabhu was speaking that having this vichar of ashwarya marg also this kind of realization of ashwarya marg ashwarya vichar you don't have the eligible to eligibility to take bath in radha kund just on going on the pathway of ashwarya mark so this is the actual thing that those people who are actually doing narayan bhajan and who are doing that ashwarya mark bhajan then they are actually coming to the ashwarya uh, radha kund to take bath because uh, they don't have the legal to take uh, bath in radha kund because this kind of ashwarya mark this which are just by taking that and taking bath in radha kund that is not at all possible for them you cannot do that those so who, who can do those bath who can take bath lot of things i have already discussed about the guru var we have just heard it and they i am actually speaking in front of you this kind of thing discussion that in vrindavan if some person wants to stay there then he just need to stay under the guidance of brajwasi every person who just want to stay in vrindavan then he just need to stay under the guidance of guru vishnuv a single handedly individually he feels the living then nothing can be done and propad is speaking a very topmost vichar in our gaudiya bhajan that uh, that what mahaprabhu has just uh, told us that manjri bhav is the topmost that in ashwarya bhav in, uh, it is not possible to do uh, rag uh, ragaranga bhajan and shrimati radhamani is so merciful i just want to become the topmost maid servant this kind of vichar that kind of vichar you just need to take and do bhajan i just want to become the i just want to i want to become the servant of the dust particle of the lotus feet of shrimati radharani i am just want to become the maid servant of the lotus feet of radharani this kind of vichar should be there inside the heart that i am i am actually one kind of parikari and an lalita vishakha and roop manjari lavang manjari whatever and rati manjari whosoever is there i am actually i am like the palya dasi i am the maid servant of that topmost mistress of me this kind of realization should come that i am the just like a, i am just like a servant just like a dog i am of radharani this kind of vichar should be there this kind of realization should all the time no anukaran no imitation should be there but anusaran anusaran should be there that by having anukaran that opposite result will come just by being anukaran sakhi be ki kartha baja you will become sahajya some uh, sahajya if you just be uh, Uh, cautious about it. What Prabhu is speaking here? Prabhu is speaking that uh, if some person, if some purush, some purush, he is purush actually means whether he is male and female both. He is not Mata Ji. He is not female. He is purush. 
this purush this purush sharir means that uh, that this purush sharir this body i am actually just decorating it with the very nice makeup these hajia people are doing i have already seen it in the gambila i just uh, gear in shri but she part of narottam das at the border of bangladesh shila rishikesh mara just uh, uh, told me to go there and take some information from that mart it means that i just he sent me as a reporter there and after that what actually going on there in gambila that at the close by to padma nadi padma nadi that kind of narottam das tako shri part and shrinivas chare also used to do bhajan at that place i used i used to go and i was just very surprising to see and i have not given them any introduction of me and just by very uh, secret mood i just went there i just uh, went and see that uh, there the one person is there that one person he is just uh, making uh, just uh, decorating her like a woman and having a very nice all redness in there in his feet and his hands and he's just taking bangles in his hand what is this actually i was thinking what is this actually this is actually this is manjuri <laughs> she actually he is actually doing siddhi of his bhajan i was actually seeing and so surprised to see and this prabhupad actually speaking here that who you are actually this taking this purush body if some person male body is just taking that uh, female uh, uh, female wish just by taking bangles in his hand then definitely in order to not be getting any adhikar to stay in radha radha kund if this kind of purush body male body you are actually decorating decorating like a woman and you will be just uh, get showing you are be thinking i have already uh, heard in the foreign also that some male person uh, just by getting operated he is a male and he's become female now are i just was surprised yes he is become female and uh, and he just uh, started dancing and all he was used to do okay let him do what to do prabhupad actually speaking this kind of male body you are just converting it into women and you will be just decorating that male body with a female with a female uh, you will decorating like that you are becoming like a woman yeah just by taking uh, different different sarees and all and just by taking different ornaments you cannot serve Ra- radha kund at all like this prabhupad actually speaking that uh, that vedi mark there is student this this kind of question lot of fighting is going on on this question and we already have answered the question as well they are actually speaking that vidhi mark there is trident in vidhi mark and uh, we are actually there in depth there is trident is there oh, that is actually correct point you are actually correct in this point that in with that whenever you are in the varnashram dharma inside varnashram dharma this sanyas vrat in that definitely is there but uh, in vidhi mark definitely triland is there it doesn't mean that uh, our guru varg is uh, prabodhana saraswati pad or vedha madhavendra puri pad ishwar puri pad or uh, brahmanand bharti is there lot of guru varg are there lot of guru varg are there not one guru varg they are what the kind of triland they have taken they the, it doesn't mean that uh, they are not at all paramans they are actually just showing their merciful attitude prabhupad just by his own wish where actually i have this adhikar i don't have any adhikar to do bhajan so that's why i have taken sanyas and gurudev shri dharmara everyone they are actually paramans all paramans but just by their own will so that we they can deliver all our fallen soul just to just show their merciful attitude on us this kind of wish sanyas wish this kind of trend wish they are just taking that inside their heart the paramans wish is there but uh, they their adhikar is topmost but they are actually paramans but still they are externally showing that they don't have any adhikar so in the vidhi mark there is trident and anurag and in the way of anurag when you will be just going ahead that paramans which are welcome in the vidhi mark in the vidhi mark there is trident which are and in the anurag mark where actually topmost continuously non stop that attraction for krishna is going on that for the serving attitude for bhagwan all the time heart is just getting thirsty attitude this kind of attitude and bhav if you is coming then definitely this is called paramans vichar it is already written there 
but our guru work has just by their own will this kind of trident they have taken just in order to show that then that merciful attitude on us that what is our adhikar present adhikar just by their own merciful attitude they are actually showing us and the persons are thinking that they are actually having this sanyas definitely they will not be uh, cannot go into this ragman everything is wrong this is completely wrong concept they are also actually speaking that this actually jagannath pandit actually speaking in front of us the in front of when sanatan goswami actually just taking one red cloth on his head and uh, some saraswati is his name in front of him just by his willingly he was just uh, taken jagadanand pandit has so much bhav and nishtha just in order to test that he was um, sanatan goswami was just taking one uh, red cloth on his head and jagadanand pandit speaking wow, whose cloth is this because jagadanand pandit actually is just thought that maybe it is uh, the cloth of mahaprabhu definitely it will be a cloth of mahaprabhu. that that's why that prem is coming in jagadanand pandit and just by just saying that red cloth is getting that prem avesh he was thinking that he is actually eternal parshad of that's why he is thinking he is it's of mahaprabhu whose cloth is this that actually some saraswati mayavadi name sanatan ko swami was speaking and in a very angry mood what kind of kitchen is going on that rice was going on that rice going to get boiled he just need to take all this and just need to uh, kill him and sanatan ko swami just actually is laughing and sanatan was speaking that what kind of uh, thing i just want to get that desire to just see what that i have just got fulfilled fulfilled jagadanand pandey just in order to test uh, sanatan ko swami pad just taken how much prem he has for mahaprabhu just by having this kind of red cloth on his head how much that is a topmost avesh what mahaprabhu is taking that is some actually speaking that this cloth is of some saraswati mayavadi then he is actually becoming very angry and whose cloth is this he is getting angry and just getting the rice pot and just want to throw him on sanatan ko swami pad and sanatan ko swami pad speaking that what kind of instruction i just want to have this kind of uh, uh, joking is just getting successful that uh, jagdanand pandey has so much love for gorang mahaprabhu you see so in this vidhi mark this trident is there okay and uh, and uh, rag mark there this kind of paramhans vichar is there okay but still they are actually they are thinking it wrong that our guru varg just by their own uh, merciful attitude they are actually showing us they are actually having this sanyas ashram we are actually in this varna ashram dharm they are having this kind of merciful attitude but they are not it is not at all like they are not at all paramhans whatever their acharan whatever kind realization and whatever their writing is there all everything it will definitely prove that they are actually vishnu paramhans vishnu that in the anur in the rag mark this kind of vichar is there in bhagavad ji mahapurana in the 11th canto it is written they are actually beyond any rules and regulations and guru varga just by their own wish they are actually just uh, taking in this varnashram then just staying in that this is one kind of leela of our guru varga they are actually by their full rules and regulations they are actually strictly following that so that everyone can get engaged in bhajan they are actually doing that so this actually it is written like this that sanatan goswami pad when actually just taking the red cloth on the head and jagdana coming in front of jagdana dwar and he is speaking this and jagdanand pandi is speaking this one this raktamas did uh, that uh, that saffron cloth that saffron color is not at all allowed prabhupada ji ne bataya prabhupada speaking okay if uh, this uh, saffron cloth red cloth and he is having trident and uh, there is normal way she has it is not at all uh, uh, there is no effect on that but there is one point is there if some person is kapat whether he is just getting a paramhans wish those who is a kapat person whether he is just taking a paramhans wish externally or he is taking a sanyas wish in each any of the pathway no mangal is there at all there is no question of mangal because they are kapat this propa speaking inside their heart when this kapat bhav is there and externally whatever wish is there nothing will happen if that uh, what uh, internally what mahaprabhu has shown us prabhu kahe tirun sanyas sanyas bhut koi log hon hain mukund 
সেবায় হয় সংসার তখন মহাপ্রভু মহাপ্রভু স্পিক This is the top most thing. Prabhupada actually speaking that inside that kind of anurag which are he that kind of flood of anurag is there inside the heart this kind of this is also like that that there is that which are of anurag is there inside his heart someone actually externally just by his own will externally by merciful attitude he is just having that trinandi sanyas he is just taking trinandi sanyas and just getting that saffron color externally in this those who are actually foolish people those who are agyani those are agyani and foolish people they are just getting into fallen condition they are actually thinking that they are actually sanyasi they are actually not at all paramans proper speaking that how lot of people actually are getting into that fallen condition just because they cannot understand that they are actually paramans internally but they cannot understand that because external they are in sanyas way so they are inside with the full anurag inside their heart that seva anurag that everything is for bhagwan this kind of serving attitude this kind of anurag attitude is there inside their heart sometimes those all uh, big big uh, rishi muni is there having just by their own will and desire they are just taking this trinandi sanyas and this uh, saffron color means that uh, taking red saffron color they are taking that sanyas color dress in this all those uh, uh, material people they are getting into fallen condition because of this this prabhupada actually speaking in radha sunadadi there is one the uh, that kamavan vasi shri prabodhana saraswati paj is the actual uh, author Ex- externally he has taken uh, tridand but internally that is a top most paramhans so, is so such a big paramhans he is a top most paramhans it means that internally that kind of vichar of anurag is there inside his heart and externally just by his own will and desire he is just taking that redundant sanyas this is the actual thing so that prakrit vichar so see that material vichar that material vichar definitely you just need to throw that if you will not throw then nothing will happen in bhajan that kind of material vichar definitely you, this jad vichar this material vichar definitely you just need to throw that away that aprakrit braj dham prabhupada speaking in aprakrit braj dham that aprakrit atma aprakrit in aprakrit braj dham that aprakrit atma in aprakrit atma that aprakrit atma aprakrit gopi that aprakrit gopi deha just by getting that that uh, getting the seva of shishi radha govind and uh, whatever the that is what is the guru rupa sakhi under the guidance of the guru rupa sakhi just getting the maid servant just becoming the maid servant of the or gurudev and radha rani this kind of bhav just need to take that inside the heart and do bhajan like that and externally maybe you can see this kind of aprakrit anukshan this uh, just by taking the guru charan on to his uh, heart inside his heart that is just getting uh, there in the uh, ashtakala leela of that aprakrit uh, that just by g- getting the paricharya of radha rani he is all the time doing the service of radha rani like that shila madhusudan das baba madhusudan das sorry shila madhusudan das uh, baba ji maharaj who actually used to stay in surya kund मनसुन दास बाबा जी महाराज 
who the our jagannath maharaj maharaj also very lot of uh, lot of days he has just stayed there at surya kund that madhusudan das baba ji maharaj who actually used to do bhajan in surya kund that madhusudan das baba ji maharaj aprakrit his disciple is jagannath das baba ji maharaj Papa speaking that our Gurudev that he is actually the disciple of Papa uh, actually my Gurudev actually is a disciple of this Jagannath Das Baba Ji Maharaj. In their life, no one has actually seen in my life of my in the life of my Gurudev, in the life history of my Gurudev, no kind of prakrit bhav material bhav. Not at all was there inside the heart of my Guru Dev. In my whole life, I haven't seen that. That's why Prabhupada used to speak. This in his body. He has this kind of his own self body that uh, bo- body of blood and flesh is mine, and whatever actually related to is our body and body related relatives. It is all ours. If this kind of vichar is there inside of that, that yashmat yashat ma buddhi, if it is there inside your mind, then. Uh, When this we in this uh, subtle and fine body, this kind of uh, thinking you have, etc. With this kind of darshan, with this kind of vichar, you just be taking bath in Radha Kund. If you'll be going, is it possible to take bath like this? That this kind of prakrit sahaja, these material sahajiyas, these material sahajiyas, this sampradaya, they are actually thinking. They are actually thinking is like that. Very opposite thinking. They have negative thinking like this. They actually, this prakrit sahajya, this sampradaya, this prakrit sahajya sampradaya, they are actually thinking that this uh, this uh, subtle and fine body made of five elements, it, it, this kind of atma buddhi, just by having that atma buddhi inside this on this body, having the on this uh, subtle body this kind of atma buddhi, that this five element body made of five element. And this all body relatives, wife, etc. They all are actually all are actually mine only. And and uh, this um, mud, sand, etc. With having that kind of uh, Ishwar Buddhi in that, Mindmay means, Mrinmay means that those which is actually made of sand and bricks. S- sand and stone with this kind of having that Ishwar Buddhi and in water having that uh, Tript Buddhi they are sold those Shuddh pure devotees and they are actually those Shuddh Bhagavad Bhakti for, for to them and other Parikaras and to the Parikaras those who are Shuddh Bhakti to those Shuddh pure devotees that uh, not having that Atma Buddhi in them uh, 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 it means that up till that bhog buddhi will be there inside him and that material buddhi will be there but material mind will be there up till that point nothing will can be done when that kind of enjoying mood from our mind will we just de- uh, will decided to uh, leave that and even in our darshan uh, in only darshan only we can get the bath in radha kund it is not like uh, definitely our body has to go inside radha kund and take bath the, with the with that tyagmay darshan we are, can just take uh, bath in radha kund this kind of which are topmost which are if we are taking under the guidance of pure guru vishnu if we are doing and if we are not having this kind of which are then that uh, bhogmay and enjoying mood that uh, that darshan with that darshan only we cannot have that kind of bath in radha kund we cannot take bath in radha kund at all like that Vaishnav, who is actually Vaishnav? If someone actually asking that who is Vaishnav, that Vaishnav is actually this body, or this body actually we are saying this is Vaishnav. Who is Vaishnav actually? Chetan, the consciousness, the topmost stage of our consciousness, 
the our consciousness that is our atma that atma having that uh, topmost consciousness inside that that the topmost uh, nourishment of that atma it means that uh, the topmost maturity stage slowly slowly when our consciousness is increasing if we had that uh, if the evil become vaishnav then that aprakrit sharir will get when that consciousness is increasing when that kind of vaishnavata that vaishnavism is going to appear in that then automatically that transcendental uh, platform transcendental body will just get to manifest inside him that aprakrit body that transcendental body will definitely manifest automatically but with this kind of material body material body can't be uh, transcendental material cannot become material this is definitely become and that material thing that is uh, uh, temporary and that transcendental body is permanent it is not at all nitya that our fine bhav that our fine bhav that kind of very secret fine bhav when we are actually just getting onto this material platform it doesn't need to go get out onto that our bhav what is there in secret form inside our in order to just manifest in material for material uh, platform that who actually want to become a woman and some person wants to become a wo- uh, woman he is actually just changing his uh, all his uh, bangles and his uh, dressing like a woman it is not uh, possible to do like that it is it should not be done like this if he is actually externally becoming a sakhi manjari externally with the male body the the male body he is actually male and with this body he is actually making uh, decorating his body like a gopi prabhu is speaking that they are they are this is not at all actual vastav vastav gopi bhav this is actually artificial imaginary gopik bhav prabhupad actually speaking this is a artificial exhibition if you are t- thinking that definitely you can see the naked picture you definitely can see that this is not a girl she is a male only he is actually uh, external body and bangles if you will just be removing the curtain then he is actually has a purush deha he has got the male body if you just be removing his uh, clothes and all the bangles who oh, actually is male he is where he is gopi he is not at all gopi prabhupad actually speaking like this prabhupad is speaking that those sahajiyas that padwari from padwari those sahajiyas they are actually radha raman charan das i am already told prabhupad speaking that this sahajiya is guru i have already told him and i have uh, that radha ram charan das baba ji maharaj i have already told him that to in, in radha kund just to take uh, bath in radha kund that is uh, the topmost prabhupad speaking that uh, to raja radha ram charan radha ram charan das i was speaking to him that in shri radha kund just to take bath that quality that quality and characteristic you require to take bath in radha kund that uh, bath that is the actual uh, topmost benefit of that spiritual world prabhupad speaking this point other persons those who are uh, just like sahajya they are going in the negative direction this the, i don't have anything to give them what i can speak in front of them nothing i can speak so prabhupad actually speaking this uh, in the about the glorification of radha kund prabhupad speaking from the last 2 to 3 days very fine form kind of vichar prabhupad is just uh, uh, speaking and we should be palya dasi of radha rani and we should be just go on doing seva and we can just manifest our seva swarup inside our heart and it should get manifested inside our heart that kind of seva swarup and under the guidance of radha rani we should be just at the corner of radha kund we can stay there with the, with that aprakrit vichar but with material uh, vichar you cannot stay like there in radha kund physically and mentally both prabhupad ji speaking to shila bhakti prabhupad ji has just written a bhashya and bhaktinath thakur has also written a bhashya a lot of bhashya lot of things are there saraswati bhakti shila saraswati goswami thakur ji shlok is there krishna so chai pranat vasati hai krishna so chai pranat vasati hai priyosit gopi radha kundam chashya muni bhi ravitah stash stadrik eva vadai yag prasthai ropi ralam asulavam kin punor bhakti bhajam hai tat 
प्रेमेदम सकृत ओपी शरह स्नातूर आदिश करो थी Bhakti Vinod Thakur has just written the bhashya for that. This actually language is in Bengali. You will be finding it difficult to understand. We just hear just a little bit because this is actually the uh, Mahajan's talk. So we will not be actually going uh, away with that. We do definitely have to start start other things as well. I am just discussing it from the last two to three days of this look by the grip of Krishna. राधा कुंड दैट राधा कुंड दैट इज द एक्चुअल नेचुरल ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ राधा कुंड श्री राधा कुंड श्री श्री राधा कुंड दिस एक्चुअली नेचुरल ग्लोरिफिकेशन दैट नेचुरल ग्लोरिफिकेशन दिस इज क्वाइट नेचुरल ग्लोरिफिकेशन दिस इज नॉट एट ऑन आर्टिफिशियली मेड सो नो बडी हैज मेड दिस ग्लोरिफिकेशन दिस इज ऑटोमेटिक नेचुरल ग्लोरिफिकेशन सो दैट श्री राधा कुंड दिस दैट नेचुरल ग्लोरिफिकेशन बाय दैट all those sadaks definitely inside their heart that were that kind of uh, top most uh, uh, aprakrit bhav will get manifested that's why shila rup go swami path from the 11th shlok i have already told in the upadesh amrit that shri radhika rani actually this is a top most priya vastu for krishna and uh, all those priya gan that all those gopikans a lot of gopikas are there and in out of those all gopikas that radha nani is the top most of all the gopikas and all the munigans they are, they are actually having they are just uh, discussing all the shastra and they are actually glorifying the radha kund according to that and only and only all the sadak and devotees only the devotees and sadak devotees uh, we are actually not talking about them do just need to not, not to compare with uh, anything for them that what is actually for shri narada adi etc it is not at all possible to get that prema it is very rare to get even for shri narad muni as well that kind of if we actually shrimati act with full bhakti bhav is some some if someone actually taking bath in shri radha kund then definitely he will get it that krishna prem automatically naturally just by taking bath in radha kund definitely this kind of faith should be there inside your heart that kind of firm faith should be there that nobody has this kind of adhikar to take bath in radha kund but uh, just by taking bath in radha kund with that aprakrit vichar that that kund will definitely be bestowing a kripa on us and kund will definitely give that krishna prem to us so shri radha kund is is the top most uh, sadhan of all the uh, all the sadhak devotees that is the top most place for all the sadhak devotees and that aprakrit braj dham that all those aprakrit jivas in the aprakrit braj dham all those aprakrit jivas aprakrit jivas and aprak with their aprakrit body they will be getting that aprakrit body and they will be definitely be taking the shelter of shri shri radha kund that guru rupa shri radha rani they are be just serving radha rani with the uh, uh, with the mood of a maid servant just by doing that they will be serving radha rani that guru rupa shri radha kund at that some corner with that full uh, guru rupa that kind of maid servant bhav with that only they will be the, just uh, taking bath in that they just by staying that in that particular place externally they will be just be taking the nam ashray they taking shelter of hari nam and that ashtakal leela they will be remembering all day and night thus they are actually will busy in uh, ashtakal leela and that kind of uh, taking shelter of shri radhika that is the actual uh, topmost kripa that is the topmost thing to get sri krishna priyo 
Bhakti Krishna that the topmost uh, that patra that pot for Krishna that is uh, that is to get the that Srimati Radharani is the topmost the nearer and dearest of Krishna and Sri Radha Kund also and the Shastra also Munigan have given a lot of glorification of Radha Kund Naraji etc those who are Bhagavad Parshad they are also actually given this kind of this frame which is very rare you are not getting it in the market or somewhere else it is very rare to get so that's why all the sadhaks that's why the sadhak all the sadhak they are actually not devotees are actually very far thing only if one kind of taking bath one time taking bath in uh, radha kund that kind of prem is just getting uh, avirbhav inside our heart that kind of prema which that kind of uh, material vasana and jad material enjoyment just by that mood if and you are just be that prem purna that uh, that in that topmost uh, prem kund of radha kund that with that jad and enjoying bud- buddhi that intelligence you will be just uh, taking uh, bath in radha kund that kind of a prakrit snan if you will take it means that uh, a prakrit jadmon bhangna you should get that a prakrit enjoyment you should get that inside our heart there is some kind of anya vilas that is contamination so jeev issue has that a prakrit nitya deha and with that that nitya seva is all the time that he is actually busy in that nitya seva all the time and in shri radha kund just by taking uh, snan by taking bath in uh, shri radha kund that is the topmost uh, that is the topmost uh, thing just to take bath in Sri Radha Kund, that is the topmost thing. That is the topmost. This is actually correct. But with the, with the Aparakrit mind, with the Aparakrit Bhav, we should do that. That the Sabhav, the actual Sabhav of the Jeevas, the Jeev, those Jeevas who are actually just getting the Kripa of Radharani, those in Radha Kund, they are actually getting the Kripa of Radharani. They are, there is actually for them glorification of those devotees is not at all possible even for Naraji also. Naraji also speaking here that uh, in all the devotees, their actually title of all the devotees that is the topmost who are there in Radha Kund. That uh, for Bhagwan, those who are actually Narada, etc., they are a servant of Bhagwan. They are actually also speaking that uh, these material persons, those who are all the time busy in these material things, it is actually far distant thing for them. The Sakya Vasalya, all those devotees who are there actually pratishtit in those ras, they this kind of taking bath in Radha Kund is very very rare. To just get that kind of aprakrit snan in Sri Sri Radha Kund, to get that aprakrit bath in at the corner of Sri Radha Kund to take bath. What is the actual glorification? If I'll be just speaking that, that what actually what you can speak about that. If you want to speak, then what you can speak about that? No words for that. Those who are actually taking bath in Radha Kund, those very lucky and uh, people, those lucky devotees, those who are t- topmost lucky, that Varsh Bhanvi Paladasi, that maid servant kind, maid, maid servant bhav should be coming. They will be getting that maid servant bhav towards the lotus feet of Varsh Bhanvi Srimati Radhanani. He will become the Paladasi, the maid servant of Radharani. That that kind of uh, thing they will get in their life. They will get the opportunity to serve Shri Varshvanvi Radharani. So it's a very long and widespread bhashya what it's written there by Prabhupada. And now I have one question here that uh, whatever there is that Upadesh Amrath we have just given the actual uh, statement of the Shri Upadesh Amrath by Kripa Guru Vaishnav. It's actually very in-depth, very in-depth discussion about that. And if I'll be going more in-depth, then it will be more and more uh, deeper. So what I have started before. This actually from here, actually if we'll start. And uh, each and every word, what does it mean actually? Atyahar actually, there is only one word only. That to eat more. Atyahar means to eat more. This is actually Atyahar. This actually this is actually the meaning of Atyahar. But Bhakti no Thakur actually under the guidance of Bhakti no Thakur we will be actually discussing that. That Atyahar, what does is actually so much in depth meaning is there. In this shlok it is written. Very kind of in depth vichar is there. We should have that. So that if that 
just by externally we are just by the external covering we are just discussing that that is not good because first question is there that atyahar that actually he is actually just atyahar means to just to take more food it does it means only this atyahar but that bhakti mein thakur speaking that this is not at all a permanent topmost thing there are a lot of in depth discussion about vichar of atya atyahar in the bhakti sadhan in the way of bhakti sadhan in the way of hari bhajan lot of meanings can be coming lot of branches of meanings can be come of this atyahar and it is very unique and topmost because देर वन देर टाइम वन रूप गो स्वाई पाद देर वन टाइम रूप गो स्वाई पाद एक्चुअली आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्पोकन अबाउट दिस थिंग एंड अगेन एक्चुअली इज दिस इन दिस इलेवन श्लोक दिस बुक इज देयर इन इट इज इट वॉट इज देयर इन दैट हेयर एक्चुअली दैट दिस श्लोका इज गिवन श्लोक इज देर this all actually this kind all all kind of vichar rupa swami pad actually speaking this in front of us that this jiva vegam and udrapast vegam this this jiva veg and udrapast veg is there this jiva veg this actually jiva veg is there this jiva veg with that jiva veg that udrapast veg is also there by this uh, just to eat eat more and just to eat good food it all comes in that category definitely rupa swami pad he is actually just speaking in this very small book he is actually speaking about this katha the actual he is not at all repeating that in this small book in such a small book he is repeating it is not at all possible for rupa swami pad to repeat here actually it is written everywhere this jiva veg udarope udar veg just by taking more food it is actually strictly prohibited that jiva vega and udropast we already have just told and another vichar is there when new and again atyahar prayajal this shloki is actually shila rupa swami par reading from where actually it has come again udropast again as we have already discussed that point already but now again this shloka is coming this here now atyahar now why actually is here atyahar here actually go swami pad be speaking prabhupad speaking that this actually atyahar actually this actually written there about atyahar the actual kind of chintan of atyahar this kind of uh, atyahar this word is coming in this shloka inside this shloka in the inside this shloka only this atyahar this kind of atyahar this kind of word is coming we have already just uh, discussed in the first shloka about atyahar already we have already discussed that but here actually why atyahar is there this is actually bhakti mein thakur speaking in uh, consent of this that in the sadhak in the life of sadhak this kind of top most important point is this that we can't even uh, speak of that it is so much important so actually shila rup goswami pad actually what actually speaking this kind of wish this is actually very uh, serious this is a very serious uh, discussion this which which are definitely shila rup goswami pad this by this shloka he just by eating more just by it don't do it no don't need to eat eat more and drink more this rup goswami pad not at all actually indicating that here and this a uh, second shlok this atyahar because bhojan that food that bhakti mo thakur actually speaking so this uh, rup goswami pad ji is uh, this uh, this kind of word actually is this application of word he is using this actually word he is actually using this atyahar prayascha definitely there is definitely rupa swami pad actually 
definitely some serious vichar is there this is not at all ordinary is not at all speaking about ordinary food and drinking what is that definitely we just need to do this kind of vichar on that we just need to get the uh, rectification done in that otherwise those who will be just uh, doing the reading of updesh amri they will be speaking that again the same thing he is actually repeating the same shlok again so definitely it is there definitely this you definitely have to follow this atyahar shloka first which is written there but the rup goswami again this kind of word actually why he is actually using this word again what is the actual reason behind that just to know about this uh, thing it is very important bhojan actually means that to eat definitely it is to eat but uh, bhojan uh, that other word is also this meaning is there you just can uh, understand this point the in shiliguri and other other big big sadhu they are actually questioning in front of me that maharaj this tasaveru padarenu mor panchagras what is that this actually is there by actually it, after that it is written there that uh, the all those rup go swami shad go swami what actually is uh, written about them here this actually it is written and before actually it is written what does it mean actually the meaning is that that by our five main material sense organs that five karm indriya and par gyan indriya karm indriya are all the time working actually but gyan indriya also actually it is coming here this kind of about gyan indriya only we are actually discussing panchagras means that it is only one in the same meaning that whatever our panch gyan indriya that our eyes that that our lotus dust of dust particle of the lotus feet of the goswami logs of the shadow goswamis of the lotus feet of dust particle of them they are actually whatever actually dust particle of the lotus feet they definitely definitely what kind of food we will get just get uh, uh, win over that by eyes what we are actually eating by eyes just by taking the darshan of the beauty of vaishnava of charan and by our ears we are just hearing the vaishnava of charan about the glorification of vaishnava of lotus feet we will be just hearing that we will be hearing that and or jiva ke dwara and by tongue we will be whatever guru vaishnava of that charnamrit and dust particle we should just taste that that charnamrit and that dust particle and definitely by washing the feet you will get the dust particle you just need to take that uh, in your tongue and bhag uh, shakti by bhag shakti that just to glorify that uh, uh, lotus feet of guru vaishnav lo like this all these five panch gras is there that our five material gyan indriya that is actually become a gras for them it means that uh, the, just to take the darshan of the lotus feet of vaishnav just by speaking about the lotus feet and just to take their charnamrit like this just to take their dust particle on your head this is the actual glorification of their dust particle of all those pure pure vaishnav so like this these by all those five material indriyas all the time these goswami is just whatever is there of this goswami charan this is the actual glorification of uh, goswami is we just need to just control or those five five uh, gyan indriya by this that whatever five gyan indriyas what we have this is the actual solution that's to take that that this is actual food of all those five gyan indriya just to take the lotus feet of the dust particle of guru vaishnav all protein minerals everything we will get in that so like this if we will actually think and we'll see like that if we see like that then uh, that by our panch indriya that, that it means like this by our eyes by uh, swarup by our nose we can just smell that vaishnav charan that dust particle of uh, vaishnav that kind of flowers which are actually offered to the lotus feet of krishna 
just to smell that and by our tongue you will be just be taking the charnamrit of the lotus feet of vaishnav so like this and by your uh, skin you will be just uh, getting the feeling of the uh, lotus feet of the vaishnav charan vaishnav lotus feet you will get that feeling so like this we are actually seeing like this that uh, We are actually already written about the ahar also or food, what to take, and again this kind of atyahar prayascha. Definitely, this doesn't mean like that. He is repeating again. So that asad shit purush. That just by the removing the shastra karma, whatever they are written in the sh- shastra, they are actually just quitting all kind of rules and regulations written in the shastra. After that, they are actually they are by that prakriti siddh gun. they are actually just by getting uh, excited by that and doing this activity in the gita bhagwan have already told this point that you will actually why how you can just uh, uh, quit karm how can how can you leave karm and in the other uh, thing also it is written sanyammo jaste manasa smaran indiyarthano indiyarthano vimuratna mithyacharu savichyate aisa baat bataya this kind of thing actually is actually speaking here so here actually we are actually speaking about tyahar it means that here that by our eyes that just to have that kind of greediness to take the roop of darshan of those vaishnav of lotus feet and that kind of thing by your nose you are just taking the smell and just by taking the rush by your tongue and all kind of midu kathin you are taking all kind of this sensitivity you are getting after by touching the lotus feet of uh, guru vaishnav so actually it all, all all at all actually restricted if by some prasad buddhi someone is doing that if you are having that prasad buddhi then it is not a problem if having some bhagavat prasad buddhi in is there in that if he is actually get getting like that then there is no problem but in atyahar this uh, whatever things are there so whatever things we have already told in that if uh, it actually getting we having that material mind that with full enjoying mood he is doing that then in that that kind of uh, bhojan all the things will just getting really activated in that materially so this our sense organs this five uh, that five uh, indriyas sense organs in that enjoying thing when this whatever we will just get entangled in then definitely we will just get uh, uh, flooded in that there will be no use of that everything will get destroyed so atyahar by atyahar what does it mean it means like this only and if someone actually speaking that i will be just uh, leaving everything i will not do anything at all and uh, we will just not be doing anything sometimes i have already told this point that sometimes our sense organs that sensual organ that this kind of uh, vishay actually that atyahar vishay is there sometimes the person this kind of uh, they actually just by in getting enjoyment for this material thing he is getting up to this kind of uh, limitation where from where he can just uh, can't go uh, come return to his that original path and if he is actually punishing the sense organ that is also not good i'll just be just uh, breaking my ears and my eyes i will be just uh, uh, destroying my eyes like this it is not at all possible like this you will not get the actual samadhan like this samadhan is not possible you will not get rectification like that rectification is possible non nirvinno nati shakto bhakti yoga asya siddhi do non nirvinno nati shakto bhakti yoga asya siddhi jo na those who are not at all having that kind of attachment to this material thing and not at all detachment is there but only he is actually thinking that he will be just uh, using in for bhagwat seva he has actually no problem at all but who has that kind of uh, so much hatredness who has that kind of has someone actually have hatredness for women definitely he is weak definitely that weak point is there inside is definitely he will just get ruined nobody can stop him so like this uh, just to remove vishay it is not at all possible 
सो वॉट इज द एक्चुअल साइंटिफिक प्रोसीडियर फॉर दैट भगवान एक्चुअली टोल्ड द साइंटिफिक प्रोसीडियर फॉर दिस थिंग दैट ओके एक्सटर्नली यू सम वन एक्चुअली एक्चुअली गेटिंग कंट्रोल्ड ओवर द मटीरियल विषय एंड एक्सटर्नली सींग सो शोइंग दैट नथिंग इज देयर इन साइड इज हार्ट नो मटीरियल थिंग्स आर देयर ही इज नॉट एट ऑल टेकिंग एनी थिंग इवन यू सी हिज फूड ईटिंग्स एंड हैबिट्स एंड यू सी हिज ड्रिंकिंग एंड हाउ एक्चुअली ही स्लीपिंग नथिंग इज देयर बट प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट ही कैन बी कपट रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी द वैराग्य दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल कपट बट द अदर वैराग्य यू कैन सी इन दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड डेफिनेटली इट इज रिवर्स सो दैट्स वाई इट इज रिटर्न देयर दो डेफिनेटली हु डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ हेटेडनेस एंड नॉट एट ऑल अट्रैक्शन बाई दिस काइंड ऑफ विच आर इफ यू आर गोइंग ऑन दैन एनी काइंड ऑफ योर ऑल दो सेंस ऑर्गन्स यू विल बी नॉट ई हैविंग दैट काइंड ऑफ इंजॉइंग मूड ऑन एनी ऑफ द एनी ऑफ द मटीरियल ऑब्जेक्ट्स प्रेड इन दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड यू विल नॉट बी हैविंग दैट इंजॉइंग मूड टूवर्ड्स एनी मटीरियल ऑब्जेक्ट सो जस्ट न्यू नट यू मेक लाइक दैट स्लोली स्टैडली बाई डूइंग भजन दैट इन गीता ऑल्सो भगवान इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग द सेम थिंग दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड अबाउट द प्रोपाद वट प्रोपाद टोल्ड दिस एक्चुअली यू सी हेयर एक्चुअली इन गीता ऑल्सो भगवान स्पीकिंग वॉट एक्चुअली इज रिटर्न हेयर दोज वर एक्चुअली टेकिंग लॉट ऑफ फूड एंड इज टेकिंग टू मच फूड he will not at all actually getting the he is he will not at all getting yog siddhi and those who are actually not at all t- taking anything who is actually just taking dry and all the time he is in the dry condition definitely he will also not get those who are taking so much too much sleeping he is taking he will not at all do bhajan and those who are not at all sleeping definitely he will also not do bhajan so bhagwan actually speaking in gita those who are actually uh, not sleeping any time on that sleeping a lot of time yukto sapna bhudasyo yog bhavati dukha bhagwan ne bola one actually speaking this those who are taking very balanced food with full of vichar and calculating he is actually just in order that his body should go on working like this he is taking food it means that he is just going out just in some uh, of some for some work he is actually going it means that whatever he is just going for his uh, uh, nematikam he is doing uh, going outside to for some work and he will just be getting entrapped in the house all the time it's not like that and with that full his chesta is also normal balanced he is actually not his efforts are very normal he don't want to just go and just break the clouds he is not at all having this kind of plan and program like raman actually plan and program that i will definitely be making the stairs which is will go to the heaven i'll definitely make the stairs which will go to heaven you, you see you make now not possible so we are having those kind of giving normal efforts that just in order to maintain our life whatever normal work is required you just need to do that abnormal you don't need to do anything and those who are actually not with normal and balanced who are taking balanced uh, uh, sleep and they are actually also getting up also bhagwan actually speaking for this kind that for them yog bhavati what is the actual yog for him it is definitely fixed it is definitely sure that he it will all the kind of uh, distress will definitely get destroyed in that but this kind of person definitely for him that yog siddhi will be definitely there who is actually in the balanced condition otherwise it is not not at all possible and uh, how we can actually stop that 
we are our eyes will definitely see and our ears will definitely hear and our hands will also just be uh, touching everything how we can stop that our eyes are there definitely you have to see but you but propad actually always used to speak that it is far better to check other people it is far better it is far better to check yourself rather than other people sorry you just need if you'll be checking others and you'll be just uh, doing sashan to others that this is not your work this is the actual role of gurudev your work if you will be just doing sashan on him that is not at all good prabhupada actually speaking here that in the antim updesh last of instructions of prabhupada he is actually speaking there that all the people actually according to your own faults you are actually all the time you just need to rectify your own faults that is the dm this is my actual request whatever faults are there in you you just need to uh, find that because that is practical because if you will see faults in other how you can see that you will actually be just doing sashan on other that is not at all good that is not at all good you just need to control uh, yourself by bhajan and definitely you will see one time then there is no problem in all the four directions because in this whole material world there are countless uh, problems and uh, all the problems i have haven't taken any kind of uh, any kind of rent for that so how i actually i can do bhajan like that you just need to find faults on uh, fault on your own and you have to rectify your own faults that is the adaptive bhajan if actually there is actually no problem at all if he is doing okay let them do so all those guru vaction by hari katha uh, kirtan they are actually just uh, just actually realizing all others that they are actually doing wrong so this is their actual role for pure guru vaishnav so here actually so nice uh, shlok uh, from up to more than 2 years i am actually speaking about one each and every shlok of gita by the kripa of krishna i have just spoken a bit in front of you and now i have no haven't spoken a, actually a lot of but a very small kind of bit i have told this kind of shloka this which are actually going on in that those tattvid who are there those who are tattvid those who are actually taking uh, balanced ahar uh, and vihar who is in this world in his life no kind of attraction and repulsion is there for anyone and no hatredness is there towards anyone i actually i am not doing anything on my own that tattvid actually he is thinking that i am not at all doing anything on my own and that is the actual truth who is actually doing that that atma that atma is there he is not at all doing that atma is nothing in this wish uh, this is this material body is there this made of five elements in this body this is actually by the uh, effect of maya actually is going on that whatever the kriya karam and whatever uh, actually is going in our body it is all by the material nature only no so what actually what over tattvid we are actually speaking of bhagwan speaking about tattvid that those tattvid he is not at all thinking that i am the doer i am the false doer this kind of false ego is not at all there in that tattvid so whatever actually is hearing and thinking and seeing pashan sinnan sprishan jighan asnan gachan sapan sasan prajalpan visrijan hai hai grinnan hai unnimishan hai nimishan upi indriyani so so actually actually see so beautiful it is written there that 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 they they are 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 seeing like that. That eyes are actually doing the work of eyes. okay let them do ears are actually doing the roles of ears so let them do whatever sense organs they are actually doing their own work according to them so whatever actually is my headache nothing is there so like this it means that that slowly steadily just by slowly steadily seeing and just by hearing and talking like that this uh, just by speaking slowly steadily this actually like this this by doing like that all our eyes that kind of blinking of our eyes all this is just and our sense organs are doing their own respective work 
they are actually they will be doing their own role just by the effect of material nature i am actually not this body no i am not this body i am this atma so this kind of realization is there in that tatvit so like this this vichar if we will be actually having this kind of vichar when we can see by this yuktahar vichar is definitely good for him and those karma yogis are there then darshan swaran grahan bhojan or whatever is there just by taking that that tattva vid i am actually not at all doing anything on my own i am not at all doing on my own anything all my sense organs are doing automatically controlled all sense organs are actually doing the role of sense organ by the effect of material nature what is what is to me like yes tomorrow or uh, tomorrow we definitely will discuss in this if some person paramans actually is seeing that there is actually fighting of gunu is there one tamogun person is fighting with rajogun person all actually so much fighting is going on with the words and if paramans person is there who will what he will do that what he will think like that what he will think in that he, he what he will think he will be thinking that just gunar gunas are fighting with each other material modes of nature are fighting with each other this actually material modes of nature they are actually fighting with each other that tamo tamo gun and rajogun people they are actually fighting with the, oh this is mine this is mine like this they are fighting with each other so where actually if some paramans people is actually there who is actually all the time deep in bhajan definitely he will see this what he will see it is actually one one mode of material nature actually is fighting with the other mode of material nature there actually so much fighting in that both the gunas it is actually rajogun going to collide with tamogun tamogun going to collide with rajogun that's it he is seeing that only by this he is actually just seeing and becoming very uh, quiet like gokaran ji maharaj when he is seeing that uh, the uh, the condition of the house is very bad and this actually foolish brother actually doing everything bad he is going to the pros quarter and is going just just to killing his mother and just taking money from his mother so this kind of condition when he says okay let them do what to do i can't do anything let he just ran away from the what uh, gokaran maharaj actually seeing that he is actually very foolish is very bad all the money he has just uh, all actually property of his father he is just uh, uh, put it in fire and his father actually just went into the forest what to do atmadev so this is the actual condition what to do so what is what is the actual function of gokaran ji at that time gokaran ji actually is will you think he definitely if i'll be just uh, rectifying him he will not get rectified so they actually he actually withdrawn himself from here and when actually i have seen that they will not be actually understanding my point they are actually thinking that i am just running for pratishtha oh just kill him just kill him and just remove him from the path so like this i have actually just given lot of rectification to them if you should, if you will do like this then maharaj that everything will be good actually is being oh i am actually mad no he is thinking like that so uh, that's why i have withdrawn myself from there whatever gurudev seva will give to me whatever prabhupad will give definitely i'll do that only seva actually who you are nobody to give me seva you are not at all uh, anyone to give me seva gurudev actually giving our all my guru work prabhupad and gurudev actually giving me as a seva shant ko swami maharaj already written in the letter also you have to just need to do give uh, do the seva of sampradaya already written in the letter of shant ko swami maharaj that is the actual glorification of vaishnav every uh, vaishnav actually just want to engage in my own seva this seva that's how we just need to do just just they don't want to make me foolish like that so this yukta vairagya here also i have already talked previously about that i i don't have any time to discuss it today so i have actually this kind of will so that i can just put each and every word in front of you so that this actually in this kartik month you definitely will not be complete that okay definitely i will be putting it in forward in the other months so this every every uh, for me every every month is kartik month my whole year is kartik month just be i actually just uh, uh, actually forgive me i'll be just giving a rest up till this point and the shlok which i have already started with i will be just speaking two words regarding that that this 
this acharya persons are there those this they are actually just putting on idealism in front of us whatever written in the shastras they have actually just uh, taking all the shastras on their tongue and we actually don't want to speak this that who is actually those who are who is the topmost in the shraman bhakti ang parikshit maharaj and uh, this in kirtan bhakti who is the topmost he is actually the top straight thing sukhdev goswami pad is topmost and pralad maharaj is in smaran bhakti is is topmost and in pad seven lakshmi ji maharani is topmost and prithu maharaj in poojan and akrur maharaj in abhivandan and kapipatir hanuman ji maharaj is in dasya and sakhya arjun is topmost and in sakhya arjun is topmost you don't think that uh, maharaj krishna has a uh, uh, definitely lot of sakhas are there but this actually here actually this actually is exclusive about braj actually this is actually that is exclusive bhav you don't need to think of that when I, who who is actually more uh, topmost than uh, ganga and yamuna the, you cannot actually compare that because yamuna ji is actually patrani of krishna so in actually naturally she is yamuna when prayagraj alahabad they are actually made king they are become the tirthraj they are actually getting that false ego oh, why actually mathura why mathura hasn't come in that bhagwan actually you have mathura you foolish mathura where mathura has come mathura is a tirth mathura is my own house foolish this foolish conception is going on so like this in the, in the friendship arjun is topmost there lot of in braj you can get a lot of secret tatva is there who can actually think of that topmost deep siddhant so up till this actually arjun is actually sakha is a friend of krishna is topmost and uh, and all the things who are that all bali maharaj has given everything of his own whatever is there for him and if, if this kind of vichar is in the braj in braj if we are actually just discussing that in braj all the brajwasis they are actually they are they are actually more topmost than bali maharaj they are actually you can't count that because they are exclusive who will actually think of them this is very in depth vichar no nobody can think of that to so bali maharaj actually is topmost in that by giving everything he is the idealism of just we drawing everything for everything atmanivedan everything he has just given for bhagavat seva we are actually speaking like this in kirtan charane so piya parichito maro ghare tumi to thakur tumaro kukur boliya jano more gaane mein acha lagta very it's very easy to sing but in order to get it practically in your life it's very difficult ha <laughs> so very very difficult that just to get the krishna prapti this kind of idealism then you need to follow that but we actually actually following the secrecy of gaudiya bhajan what is that we actually we following the gaudiya gaudiya siddhant this is actually open to all so se vishnu sravane parikshit abhavat vayasaki kirtane pralladah smarane tadangri bhajane lakshihi prithu pujane अक्रूरस्तु अभिवंदने कपिपति हृदय अथो साक्ष्य अर्जुन सर्वा सर्वस्वात्म निवेदने बलिभुत कृष्णाप्ति रेशा परम वाचकल्पदूष के पास सिंधु विवेच पतिता पावन भो विष्णु नमो